Oh, peace and love to the guys and goddesses and all the high vibrating species on the planet. What it is, what it do, y'all. Huh? What we got busting out there? What we got busting? Welcome back to the channels. Welcome back to the channels. Y'all mean? Y'all mean? Hope everybody good out there. Drop it in the comment section, man. Let me know how y'all doing out there. Let me know how y'all feeling. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Y'all mean? We got to be here for each other. Let's talk about it. In the meantime, we back with another SCP. You already know the segments. Hookah trees and SCPs. Uh, right about now, we got the hookah warmings up right now. So, you know what I'm saying? We might not do, you know what I'm saying, the hookahs, this, this segments. But we will be back, you know what I'm saying, in a little bit. And she, she should be, you know what I'm saying, nice and warm for us to get our toke on there as well. Uh, but in the meantime, we do got the, uh, the trolley, you know what I mean? Uh, and shout out to them Tysons, you know what I'm saying? I like them. I like them. I like them. Me personally, I like them. But anyways, we got we got SCP thirty six sixty three. You know what I'm talking about? The the tunnel monster. Uh, it's a Keter sapient self repairing. So we never listen. We this I think I think this is like number three, the third self repairing uh SCP we ran across. You know, so I think it's like back to back to back, right? All right. So check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I hope you got what you need. You know what I'm saying? Because I do. Without further ado, if you're new, just pull up a chest and find out what it is that we do. You know what I mean? Uh, right about this time, we get it bust. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. All monsters aren't bad. All monsters aren't good. So let's just. Good afternoon, know. everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, Peace. and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-3663. Let's do it. Object class: Keter. Threat level, orange. Special containment procedures. SCP-3663 is currently located in what were formerly the Site-54 maintenance tunnels. To prevent demanifestation, no personnel are to be given access to the area, and efforts are to be taken to reduce the tunnel's moisture levels. Should SCP-3663 demanifest, Mobile Task Force New 4 box cutters are to be mobilized with the goal of A. Locating SCP-3663 and B. Preventing any damage occurring to the entity. If possible, SCP-3663 is to be fitted with GPS tracking devices to aid in recontainment. Once located, SCP-3663 is to be transferred to a mobile pipe network and remanded to Site-54. Efforts are to be undertaken to discourage SCP-3663 from transporting itself to a location within 2 kilometers of SCP-15. Description SCP-3663 is a humanoid entity constructed primarily from cardboard in the form of boxes and tubes, adhesive tape, and twine. SCP-3663 is fully capable of movement and vocalization via an unknown mechanism, and has proven to be semi-sapient, responding to questions and reacting to its immediate environment. The interior... Okay, okay. This, this automatically, this is, it's coming off to be a golem already. The interior of SCP-3663 contains crude cardboard and paper models of all major human organs, with colored wool representing blood vessels and the nervous system. SCP-3663 does not require these components to function, and their purpose within the entity is unknown. SCP-3663 is capable of instantaneously transporting both itself and other objects over long distances, with no upper limit to the entity's range observed. The method by which this is achieved is currently unknown, though it is known that physical contact with the entity is required. 
Despite being able to utilize its abilities regardless of physical location, SCP-3663 has shown extreme preference for 3663 applicable regions, defined as an enclosed tunnel-like space or network of spaces. Measuring at least 40 centimeters in diameter has been stricken from the document, and will invariably choose to manifest within such areas. SCP-3663 behavior is easily predictable when not influenced by outside forces. The entity will engage in a simple cyclic pattern of actions, which have been recorded as follows. Number 1. SCP-3663 manifests in a 3663 applicable area, emitting low vocalizations and waving its arms in a manner suggesting attempted intimidation or fright. The entity will begin roaming the area, pausing periodically to emit louder, higher-pitched noises. Number 2. SCP-3663 will attempt to make its way towards any human subject in the area. Note that if no subject is nearby, this action will not commence, and SCP-3663 will simply remain in the area indefinitely. Rarely, SCP-3663 has been observed pursuing subjects outside of SCP-3663 applicable areas, to a distance of, at most, 50 meters. Number 3. The subject is gripped by the entity and experienced heightened apprehension and or paranoia. SCP-3663 demanifests. Number 4. SCP-3663 manifests in a second 3663 applicable location along with the subject who is invariably unconscious but otherwise unharmed. After releasing the subject and moving a short distance, SCP-3663 demanifests a second time, reappearing in a third location and triggering the beginning of a new cycle. If at any point during this cycle SCP-3663 is damaged in such a way as to inhibit movement or is moved more than 50 meters away from an SCP-3663 applicable area, it will instantaneously demanifest, returning to the beginning of a new cycle in a repaired state. Small changes such as minor cuts or tears will not trigger this effect. Addendum 1. Interview Log 3663-1. Interviewed, SCP-3663. Interviewer, Researcher Doyle. Forward. The following interview was conducted via two-way audiovisual recording systems embedded within a makeshift interview chamber located inside SCP-3663 Central Containment Area, formerly the Site-54 Maintenance Tunnels. Begin log. Hello, SCP-3663. I was wondering if... The Tunnel Monster. I'm sorry? I'm the Tunnel Monster. Not SCP-3663. The Tunnel Monster. That's me. I... I see. So, uh, Tunnel Monster. Why do you do what you do? Moving people around, I mean. The Tunnel Monster captures people. That's me. I'm the Tunnel Monster. I... I capture people and I take them into the tunnels where I live. In the tunnels. The pipes. I'm the tunnel monster. I understand that, but what do you hope to achieve by doing it? You seem to pick your locations at random, so it seems to me that you're not really making much of a difference. You could just as easily... Please stop. It's what I do. I have to do it. I'm not... I am the Tunnel Monster. It's me. Please stop. What? We're trying to help you here. You can't want to spend all your time underground. We can get you set up here with your own room. You wouldn't even have to crawl about in those dirty pipes anymore. Doesn't that sound nice? What do you say? Please. Don't do it, Tunnel. I'm, I'm the... SCP-3663 pauses for approximately five seconds. The, the tunnel monster. I don't want to... to do this. It's what I do. I have to do it. I'm the tunnel monster. I... I do it. I'm the tunnel thing, the tunnel monster. Two wet patches are observed forming on SCP-3663's face. In the pipes. Hiding in the tunnels. 
going to get you. I have to do it. Please. SCP-3663 front surface begins to lose structural integrity due to accumulated water damage. Please. I don't want to play anymore. I'm the monster. The tunnels on the tunnel. That will be all for today. Thank you. End log. Due to the possibility of severely damaging SCP-3663 to the point of initiating a new cycle and a breach of containment, no further interviews are being scheduled for the foreseeable future. Addendum 2. Event 3663, Delta. SCP-3663's behavior diverged briefly from established patterns. At 1420, the entity emerged from the Site-54 maintenance tunnels and began to emit vocalizations in excess of 80 decibels. These vocalizations, described as pained by on-site staff, had a profound psychological effect, placing many personnel into a state of shock. Phrases recorded include, Don't leave me, I don't want this, and let me go home, among others. For approximately four hours, SCP-3663 wandered the facility, attacking staff and engaging in small-scale vandalism of facilities. Of note is the fact that SCP-3663 repeatedly attempted self-harm by means of knives, pipes, water taps, and firearms. While SCP-3663 was repeatedly destroyed in this process, it subsequently re-manifested in the nearest air duct or maintenance area. Following the event, two bodies of former personnel were recovered from within Site-54. Autopsy showed the cause of death was a buildup of paper residue, or wood pulp, in all major blood vessels as well as sinuses, ear tubes, and the majority of the digestive and respiratory systems. A number of other staff members were found to have been affected to a lesser degree, but are expected to make full recoveries. The entity's object class and definition of an SCP-3663 applicable area have been updated accordingly. Subsequent information gathering revealed that this event coincided almost exactly with the death of Person of Interest 3663-1, see Addendum 3 for more details, who died of natural causes at the age of 79. Prior to their death, the individual in question had led an entirely unremarkable life with no connection to any anomalous groups, individuals, or objects. Attempts to establish a connection with the creation or origin of SCP-3663 are currently ongoing. Addendum 3. Discovery Log. Video Transcript 3663-1. Forward. The following is a transcript of video 3663-1, recovered from civilian CCTV footage in The footage displays the first recorded evidence of SCP-3663's existence prior to this date. No records, sightings, or physical disturbances suggesting anomalous activity relating to the entity have been found. Begin transcript. 1522-0809-1979 Midnight Two young children, both males between the ages of 8 and 12, are seen playing in an abandoned construction yard. One, designated Person of Interest 3663-1, is running from the other, designated Person of Interest 3663-2, who is wearing a crude cardboard suit resembling SCP-3663. 023. Both individuals leave the camera's view briefly, before returning. The game they are playing seems to revolve around two chasing one through an unfinished water drainage system. POI 3663-2 repeatedly grabs one and attempts to pull them deeper into the tunnel. Likewise, POI 3663-1 uses a number of make-believe weapons to fend off the assaults. 0104 the sky is observed darkening slightly as POI 3663-1 trips on a length of pipe. POI 3663-2 is seen speaking, grabbing one and pulling them upright. POI 3663-1 pushes them away, apparently angered. POI 3663-2 steps backward as if struck. 0130. POI 3663-2 begins to shudder while the visible sky continues to darken. Note that no anomalous weather patterns were recorded for 
during the period of time in question. POI 3663-1 clutches at their head, pointing at POI 3663-2 and shouting. Both children appear extremely distressed. 0150. POI 3663-2 tries and fails to remove the upper portion of their suit. 0249. Camera visuals are lost, replaced by static. A continuous hum is heard. All other electronic devices in a 200 meter radius are also recorded to have failed simultaneously. 0412. Camera visuals return. Neither individual is in view and no additional anomalies are observed. 0608. SCP-3663 is seen walking past the camera. The entity shudders briefly, clawing at its face before demanifesting. End transcript. POI 3663-1 was later found lying unconscious in a disused subway line over 4,000 kilometers away. They displayed no memory of either SCP-3663 or Person of Interest 3663-2 and claimed to have been playing alone. Societal reintegration of the subject occurred with no complications. To date, neither Person of Interest 3663-2 nor any record of their continued existence have been recovered. This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you're all dismissed. Goodbye. I mean, sh I mean, I mean, I mean. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, y'all. Give me a second, let me think on this. Like I said, cause that person was coming off to be a golem, but then, you know what I'm saying, this 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 last little this last little bit of information here at the end. <sighs> okay, well, I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually like extraterrestrial in nature. Like maybe something happened when the the uh the weather thing did whatever it did and this 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 kid was fused fused into this whole image to take on this whole persona so now you know what I mean? you know what I mean I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, something like that, something, something like that, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying, like, I mean, like, I'm trying to think of the, the exact science of, you know what I'm saying, of what, <laughs> what exactly what I'm trying to break down here, but I'm sure y'all get what I'm saying, you know what I mean, like, because, I mean, that's, that's all I can think of, because at first, it, you know what I'm saying, like I said, it was coming off to be a golem, but now it's, it's this child running around in his suit playing this this particular game and now the child has actually become the monster in such game that it was playing after this this crazy storm comes about so this could be definitely alien in nature uh definitely paranormal in nature I mean, okay, so what, what really make, what, okay, so what's really making this thing a Keter? It's like, I don't, like, it doesn't really seem to be that dangerous, does it? I mean, maybe I missed that part. Is it coming off to be that dangerous, y'all? Okay, so let's see. He captures people and brings them down to the tunnels. Okay, but like it's what they said, it leaves leaves them in a in a a paranormal paranoia state. It gives them paranoia. I'm just like I don't know, y'all. What, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Y'all, let me know in the comment section. What do y'all think about the tunnel monster? Um. How do y'all think this really happened? You know what I mean? Like, you think this is uh, extraterrestrial work? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 
Cause you you act. Right, right, right. We ain't gonna sit here and act like stuff don't be happening around here. <laughs> At least I'm not. You know what I mean? So uh I mean what do y'all think? Paranormal in nature? Like I don't think it's a golem anymore. It could be. But I mean, if the story holds any weight, that what happened towards the end, if that holds any weight, then that, that would rule the golem out. But at the same time, this is definitely magic, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is magic all day. Um, this this child just got turned into uh, a monster that he was pretending to be. It's, yeah, definitely magic. So, um, I don't know. Academy, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. You know what I'm talking about? Um I don't know if it's if it should be Keter or not, but then again, y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all let me know if if if, if y'all think this uh, the Tona monster should be you know what I'm saying Keter or Euclid. I mean maybe Keter because they can't keep up with it or they can't really contain it, so it can you know what I'm saying it can just do whatever whatever. Um, that's all I got as far as that is concerned. You know what I mean? Like if if it's you know what I'm saying if that's the reason why they made it uh, made it Keter and not just a Euclid. Um, but until then, you know what I'm saying. Head on the swivel, y'all. You know what I'm saying. Don't forget to keep yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, and uh, emotionally protected out here. Uh, don't let the world drive you crazy. You know what I mean. Keep your CT on at all times. At all times. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot going on out here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, don't don't get caught slipping. Don't get caught slacking. Um, and definitely don't get caught mentally lacking. You know what I'm talking about? It's it's rough out here. It's rough out here. It's a, it's, a, it's water for your mind. It is a water for your mind, for the most part. You know what I mean? And uh, we gonna be back with another. Um, I appreciate y'all joining me. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Uh, if you're new, you know what I mean. Like I said, no pressure. Just you know what I'm saying? If you're rocking with us, then you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep busting them out like this. Uh uh the the the, the hookah should be uh warmed up now, so we probably gonna run another one. Uh, I I'm sure staff got I'm sure staff got something for me in there. Uh so we just sat down and just bow and just got it busting, you know what I'm saying, with the first thing that we saw. So now we finna go get the checklist and see exactly what we got on the list that we could uh we can get it we can get a busting for y'all, you know what I'm talking about? So I appreciate you joining me yet again. And uh, until next time, peace and love to all the guys and goddesses and all the high vibrating species on the planet Tiamat. One.